Hey, it's TC here from B101, and we're at Cardi's Furniture Superstore in uh, South Attleboro on Route 1A. We're here for the B101 Rock Art Show, and uh, right next to me here is uh, my new good friend, Ron Campbell. No relation, I'm sorry to say. Uh, no, but we might be related if you go back far enough. One never knows. Well, if so, I'm going to expect that first cousin discount on some of your artwork <laughs> here, you know. Yes, uh, Ron is a famed illustrator, particularly of the uh, Beatles cartoon show we used to watch on Saturday mornings, and also yep, the Yellow Submarine movie, plus uh, one of my favorite cartoons, George in the Jungle, Super Chicken, and Tom Slick. So how do you score the gig doing the Beatles Yellow Submarine? How does that happen? Well, that, that's actually a kind of a long story, so I'll try and make it short. I had already directed the Beatles TV cartoon show uh, when they got into trouble, a little bit of trouble in, uh, in England making the Yellow Submarine. Uh, I was called and put on board. This piece right here is called Egypt Station. It's created by Paul McCartney. Now, a lot of people you know, know that John Lennon did artwork, but very few people know that Paul McCartney does artwork, and it's virtually sold out. This is the last copy we could ever get of this piece. So it's hand signed by Paul. And the other thing that's great about this piece is Paul being a very, very controlling person, also insisted on doing the numbering himself as well. So this piece is extremely rare. It's a photo of an early David Bowie taken by Linda McCartney, signed by Linda McCartney. There's very, very few Linda McCartney signed photos that are around. So highly collector items. So if you're a fan of David Bowie or Beatles or Linda McCartney, I mean, it's a perfect thing. And it's one of the rarest pieces we even have in the show here. Uh, Ron, you were working on that Beatles uh, cartoon show on Saturday mornings. Yeah. Uh, did the Beatles give you much input into that show? Uh, darn right they did. They gave us three songs for every half hour episode. It's a lot of input right there. Huh? That sure is. Yeah, yeah, the input, right. I'm told that in England the Beatles went into the studio and, and, and went into the screening room and watched, uh, watched the, the television show being projected for them. And when they came out, Ringo was reported to have said, Darn, they made me the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and you I, felt sorry for him that that. Yeah, I felt sorry for him on that one, but each character had to have a distinct personality and we needed an idiot. Yeah, there you go.